Ellen! Oh, Ellen! I, I'm back! I'm back! Ellen, wake up! Ellen! Answer me! Wake up! Please, Ellen, talk to me! Stay awake! You see... You see... You see... Are you down here? Are you here? No! Ellen, listen to me. I, I, I'm up here. I found something I think that can get you out. I, I tied all the sheets together in the, in the house, okay? Now listen, I'm going to throw this down to you. I want you to grab it, okay, as soon as it gets there. Here it comes, okay? Hold on. I'm throwing it. No, no I can't, can't, can't reach it. Okay, okay, can't, can't, can't get up any higher? Can't get leverage with my ankle. Can't, oh, oh, Ellen, you, you gotta reach it, okay? That's all the sheets, that's everything I could find, please. You have to get it. I'll never reach it. Water's rising, Lucy. Lucy, please, please don't let me die down here. Hey, you uh, ready to go? You know, I was thinking about putting in a couple more hours. The sooner I get my community service done, the better. Besides, the hospital can always use an extra hand, I guess. I'll take the bus home, okay? I need to speak to you about something. Can you take a break? Yeah, my time is yours. What's up? Can you explain this? Should I be able to? It's a VAB. Voice activator box. Like what the general homicide psycho used to call Kevin Collins? Yeah, this receipt could be for the one the murderer used. What are you doing with it? What I am doing with it isn't important here. The question is, where did I get it? Fine. Where did you get it? I found it in your locker. seen that receipt before. I barely even know what a voice activator box is. Then why was this in your locker? What were you doing in my locker, Frank? You know, there is something called a right to privacy in this country. Since when is it open season for me? Julie asked me to check you out. So I did. Um, so Julie's in the slammer telling anyone who listened that I'm the evil killer. And you believe her. She finally turned you against me. No one is turning me against you. Can you explain this? No. But why don't you ask Julie? I'm sure she's full of theories. So you don't know anything about this, but your name is on it. What does that say? I don't know. That I'm being set up probably by Julie. She's hated me from day one. That has always flowed both ways. Do you for one minute believe in your heart that I murdered all those people? Considering what I found, I can't help but wonder. Any logical person would. Now, I need answers, Lark. Not flip comments or sarcastic put-downs. I want the truth know anything about the voice activator. What else do you want me to say? Where were you when that last phone call was made to Kevin? Where were you when Jake was murdered Not or dead? even a month ago. You were rushing me out of Chris Ramsey's apartment because you didn't want me to see Dr. May's dead body. Where's all the concern now? When you agreed to adopt me, I could finally breathe for the first time in my life because I found someone I could trust. Someone I could count on. You still can, no. but I... You need to check yourself, Frank. Where were you when those people were killed? I could be asking you the same questions you're asking me, but I wouldn't because I trust you. Before, even when you were hooked on DL-56, I trusted you. Why can't you feel the same way about me? I don't want to hurt you, Lark. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, that's all. I didn't kill any of those people. You can believe me or not. But what are you going to do about the other seat? Detective Garcia is going to... You told the cops? 
You narked on me? We need to find out the truth. Couldn't you have come to me in private before you went to the cops? I mean, when you were hooked on DL-56, I kept your secret, didn't I? Julie is in jail because the murderer's phone call was traced to our house and the voice activator box was found there. But the receipt for it was in your locker. Now, I need you to come to the station with me and clear this up. What if I don't want to? If you're innocent, you don't have anything to worry about. Let's go. I told you I'm not going to discuss my case with you unless my lawyer's present. It's your prerogative. I got the autopsy report on Cassandra May. Lovely evening, isn't it, Detective? And she ingested the cyanide that killed her between 2 and 4 p.m. During that time, she had one appointment with you. Did you keep that appointment? I'm not saying anything without my attorney. Julie, this must feel like you're on another planet. Good cop, bad cop, all rolled into one. I'm impressed. There is a way out of this for you. You want me to confess? I hear it's good for the soul. Judges like it, too. Maybe you might get out of this with a life sentence instead of the death penalty. I am not the murderer, detective, and that is the only thing I'm going to say to you. I tried. Kevin. Hello, Dr. Harmon. Hey. Uh, I hope this isn't an uncomfortable question for you, but, um, have you heard from Lucy? Well, Lucy and I aren't exactly simpatico these days. No, I haven't heard from her. Is there anyone else that she might call or get in touch with? Why do you need to reach Lucy? I'm worried about Ellen and Lucy being up at Pleasure Point with all the flooding going on up there. Lucy is where with Ellen? Pleasure Point? Obviously, you had no idea. No, I didn't. I thought you were going with Ellen. Well, how did Lucy end up there? It was a misunderstanding. Lucy somehow got the idea that you were going to be up at the cabin with Eve. And what did Lucy do? She rigged the front door of the place so that when Eve walked in, a bucket of fish guts fell on her head. Ellen was the unlucky recipient of that prize. She'll never change. Matt, I'm sorry Ellen got involved in this. Well, it's Lucy I feel sorry for. You know, Ellen doesn't play games. Oh, I know how formidable Ellen can be, and I'm sure Lucy was the lucky recipient of that. Mm. You can't reach them? Ellen's cell phone didn't work when I called. She probably broke it over Lucy's head. Look, does Lucy have a cell number? I mean, I'd really like to know what's going on. It's a recording. Hmm. Her phone's out of service. That's strange. Lucy's phone is grafted to her head. It would never be out of service. So both of their cell phones are dead. Well, call me paranoid, but I think there's something wrong. Ellen! Ellen, I'm back. Uh, are you all right? Listen, I found something to make our little rope sheet thing longer, okay? It's, it's just going to take me a minute to tie it off. Ellen! Don't. Don't have a minute. The water's getting too high. I'm so tired. No! Listen to me. This is not a time to take a nap, Ellen. Okay, tell, tell me about your ankle, okay? okay tell, tell me about it. Does it hurt a lot? The water's made it numb. I, I can't feel it. Lucy, are you sure you're going as fast as you can? Okay, Ellen. Here it comes. Now, when you get it, I want you to tie it around your waist as tightly as you can, okay? I can reach it. I got it. Oh. Oh. I can't. I can't reach it. Lucy, this is your expensive scarf. Oh. No, no, you know it's, it's not really a scarf. It's actually more of a wrap. Oh, I never liked it anyway. I like it more now than I did before. You know, someone told me that you were more interested in clothes than people. Remind me to pop them once we're out here. Okay, listen, when I get you out of here, we'll both go over and pop them. 
Okay, listen. Tell me something. Is it as tight as you can get it around your waist? Now or never. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay, Ellen, get ready. I am going to get you out of here come hell or high water. Hang on. Hang on really tight, okay? Hold on. Ellen, it's moving. You're coming out of there. Okay. Okay. Come on. I got you. You're coming. Okay, hold on. Is this the receipt? I found it in Lark's Lark. But I'm innocent. I didn't buy that voice activator thing, and I didn't murder anyone. I'm leaning towards the idea that someone is trying to frame Lark and Julie. Otherwise, none of this stuff makes sense. Start asking Julie about this. She's got nothing to lose. Who else would want to frame me? Now, whatever is going on here, the receipt is the key. Frank, this evidence, if you could even call it that, is tainted. I don't need a lab to see your fingerprints all over it. Do you want to break this case or not? I am handing you a clue. You know I do. But I don't need you running around playing investigator. Look, all right, I'll call the store owner, see what he's got to say. But you, make no mistake, I'm still interested in finding out how this receipt ended up in your locker if you didn't put it there. But I'm still not convinced I've got the wrong person in custody. Can I see Julie? She's in the interrogation room. Make it quick. I don't care what you found in my locker. I didn't kill anybody, Frank. You can be denial all you want, but it still won't change the fact that Julie did it. Hey, are you okay? I guess. It's hard to adjust to being behind bars. It's not something I want to get used to. You are one of the strongest people I have ever met. They strip you of everything when you walk in here. It's a horrible feeling. No one is strong enough. You only see one thing in people's faces. When am I going to get out of here? I'm doing everything I can. Did Garcia bring Lark in? Yeah, she was here, and I think I might have found something that will clear you. I have to say, it just isn't like Lucy to be out of touch for so long. She prides herself on being reachable. Yeah, I tried Ellen's page, there's no answer, and her cell phone still doesn't work. Maybe the storm knocked down a transmitter. That, or maybe the cell sites are out. If that's the case, the phones could be offline for hours. Well, thanks for your help, Kevin. Just because Lucy and I are separated doesn't mean I don't care about her. Besides, she has a tendency to act before she thinks. It... Is that why you're concerned you can't reach her? She may have gotten herself into something she can't get out of, and Ellen may be involved. But the good thing is, whenever Lucy's back is against the wall, she never stops swinging. Uh, are you trying her again? State police. Maybe they can give us some answers. Oh, here we go. Oh. It's coming, Ellen. It's turning. 
that the woman that purchased the voice activator? No, I'm afraid not. Are you sure? Take another look. Yeah, I saw it the first time. This isn't the woman. How about this one? Now, she looks familiar. Familiar how? Have you seen her on the street? Frank. What do you recognize her from? From her picture in the paper. She's the one you guys got for the hospital murder. Yeah, she has been wrongly accused, but you can set all of that straight if you remember who bought the voice activator box from you. Now, this isn't your standard run-of-the-mill purchase, is it? Well, no, uh, but it's not a big ticket item either. Uh, that day I had a half-price sale. This bag lady wandered in and wanted to see the activator. A so, bag lady? Yeah, you sound like I looked. She had on very weird clothes, and I remember thinking, what does this person want with a voice activator? Can you give us a description? Uh, medium height, uh, not too big. Uh, her face was dirty. Uh, uh, her hair was a mess. Um, I do remember she was wearing a tattered red shawl. It was very odd. You wrote this name on the receipt. Why? Well, that's what she said her name was. Uh, Lark. Uh, I remember thinking it was a strange name. You have to check this out. If we can find a bag lady with this red shawl, you have a new prime suspect. Come on! You're almost there! I got you! I got you! Okay! Okay! Don't hurt your leg! I, I, I got you! You're almost out! Oh! Come on! Come on! Okay, turn! Turn! You must be freezing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. I'll get a sheet. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I will. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't go there. Wait a minute. Don't pass out on me. I don't want you to die. I want you to stay with me, okay? Are you okay? Listen, I'm going to get you inside. There's a nice fire in there. The fire I made, I did it myself. And marshmallows, I saved you some. Lucy, Lucy thank you. Oh, hey, it was nothing. What a rich dress, you know, $600 little wrap thingy. It's all in a day's work. You look terrible. Oh, well, so do you. Where do we see each other in the light? I suppose they owe you a manicure. Oh, yeah, manicure, hair appointment. Hey, how about a day at the spa? Come on, we'll both go. Come on, let me get you. All right, you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I would like that. Just one thing. Oh, uh, yeah, what? No mud baths. Deal. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh. Right, thanks for your help. Matt, I just spoke with the state troopers. They say the rain in the mountain has stopped. Now, there was flooding, but the cabin seemed to be all right. Okay, well, that's a relief. But I don't like not being able to reach them. I'm going to drive up there. Do you want to come? The roads are out. The main bridge to the point's been washed out. Yeah, I heard that. But there has to be some other way to get up there. I'm going to find it. I want to make sure Ellen's okay. Lucy, too. Matt, I'm coming with you. Hey. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, you, you gotta stay awake here. I, I made you some tea. Here you go. I just... I just want to sleep. No, Alan, no. Y you need to stay awake. Now, take a sip of this tea. It'll do you a world of good. There you go. Okay, take one more. Here we go. Come on, one more. There you go. I'm gonna have you warmed up in no time, okay? No time. I just... I just want to lie down. No, no! Ellen, you know, you may be the doctor, but I really believe the best medicine for you right now is to stay awake, okay? I, I can't have you going anywhere right now. You know, I need you. Who would I go to the spa with? All right, concentrate on the spa. Come on, think uh, herbal wraps and steam rooms and saunas and hot tubs. Okay. 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 You know what, I, I think... I, I really, I, I really think I need to get help. I, I'm gonna go and get help, okay? No. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's too dangerous. No, that's why. I, I'm gonna go, and uh, you're gonna stay here, okay? Now listen, it's good. It's okay, you just stay awake. That's your job, and my job is to go find the cavalry. I gotta bring somebody back and get us out of here. Think beaches, okay? Arizona, sweating, hot, hot, sunny days. Stay awake, Ellen. I'll be right back before you can say hot toddy, okay?
Tonight, the real deal on factory outlets. Find out how to be a smart shopper on ABC News Summer Thursday tonight. Chat with Michael E. Knight, All My Children's Tad, today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on America Online. Keyword AOL Live.